with Homeschool Lithic, and I just wanted to show you all what my seventh grader was going to be reading for the first semester of our school year. Now she is a heavy reader, and so I want to make sure <laughs> she has enough books. Like I said, this is just for the first half of our school year, and then in the second half of our school year, I'll have more books available for her. And um, comment below if you want to see what she's going to be reading come January and uh, to the end of our school year. But there's so much uh, available, obviously, books, book-wise. And uh, we still will be utilizing the library as often as we can. Uh, like I said, because she's a heavy reader and we always keep books on hand. But these will be her required reading books. And I'm gonna kind of focus on making sure she's doing um, some type of book reports or um, even just a summary of what the book was about. Um, and her and I always have conversations, but I wanted her to be able to get it on paper to make sure um, she's being able to articulate herself well verbally and um, on paper. So let's get started. I know why the cage bird sings, the case for Christ, Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky, to kill a mockingbird. And she'll also be using the instructional guide for literature for To Kill a Mockingbird. Out of my mind, the Watsons go to Birmingham. Piecing me together. Brown girl dreaming. The Girl Who Drank the Moon, Bud, Not Buddy, as well, oh, as well as the Instructional Guide for Literature for Bud, Not Buddy, One Crazy Summer, PSB11, Chains, Forge, Ashes, Pats, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, Song of the Trees, In Difficult Times, You Must Protect What Is Yours, The Gold Cadillac, A Fancy New Car, and An Unforgettable Drive, <laughs> The Well, The Toughest Times Show Who You Really Are, the friendship, what happens when a promise is broken. Let the circle be unbroken. The road to Memphis and Mississippi Bridge. Now I know these are not enough books to keep my seventh grader busy for the entire, for the entire first half of our school year. Like I said, she's a heavy reader, I'm talking three, four hours of reading a day. And so, but these are her required reading books. Obviously she'll be reading other books that she enjoys uh, for fun as well. But um, I hope you all enjoy this seventh grade required reading. I hope you all enjoy this seventh grade required reading book list. And comment below what your favorite book was. Also remember that you can go to homeschoolithic.com to get more information on courses for homeschooling your kids. If you're new to homeschooling, we have a homeschool one-on-one course and many more in the way. 